Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Today I'm going to show you something that's coming in the new build of the NVIDIA, or for the NVIDIA Jetson Nano, I should say. It'll be released probably in the next few days, and it will work on the 2 and 4 gigabyte models. As you can see, we're going to play some Xbox here. The emulator is XEMU. They've got a ARM64 build now that is in development, so it will be improved as well. Let's check it out and see how it works. Also, expect that some games will work and some games won't. Much like GameCube. However, I'm still pretty happy with the fact that it works at all. I'm just using a standard uh, Logitech USB controller. Whatever controller you choose to use, the emulator just kind of picks it up and maps the buttons for you. You don't really get a choice, but it does work. Oh, too easy. I'm going to need a real challenge. The way that Xbox works is also true of 3DS. Some games work, some games don't. Citro Mainline is included in this build as well. Oh, also too easy. I forgot how long Monkey Ball took to actually get hard. But it looks nice and it's running well. No complaints here. I tried um, Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity before I started this video, and that was not good. It runs, but it's really laggy. Maybe half speed, I would say. Which is why I've got the impression that some games are going to work and some games aren't. But for the games like Crash Bandicoot that are almost working but not quite, I do have a feeling that as the emulator matures, they might become more and more playable. Not all games are listed as properly working with the emulator itself as well, so that's something to keep in mind. The emulator is still very early in development in terms of emulators. But they are doing a great job. Let's check out the other Crash game quickly. Or no, here I'll show you what I mean about Twin Sanity, actually. Outrun is also laggy. I tried that too. This one kind of tricked me. It seemed, by the way that the intro and stuff was going, that it was going to run. But then, as you get in here... See how choppy it is when I try to move? This is for sure not playable. Not unless you feel like playing half-speed Crash Bandicoot. Oops. Alright, we'll try one more game here. I'm going to do Rayman. I'll do a couple laps or something here. The thing about the Xbox emulator is that you're basically going to have to sit down, take your old Xbox collection and dump them to your PC and then try them one by one to figure out what works and what doesn't. And that's about all you can do. Just because a game's listed as working or not working... I mean, if it's listed as not working, it's probably not going to work. But just because a game's listed as working or playable on a PC does not necessarily mean it's going to transfer over here right now. I want to say about 40% of the games that I've tried actually are playable, which is infinitely better than zero, but it'll get better. I actually happen to like this game.
That's the controller I'm using. Oh, got him. I'm not going to do all three laps. I, I will keep playing for a little bit to make sure that everything's good, but as you can see, this particular game happens to run fine. I've tried seven games and three work. That's where I came up with my 40% from. You just have to be kind of cautious I would say when you're picking a game like don't go and pick the hardest game to run on Xbox like Halo 2 or something and expect good results then again it's strange that Rayman works and Crash Bandicoot is laggy but Crash Bandicoot might have more to it it might be more complex internally the game files that is there's a lot of reasons why but you get the point this works as always thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe this build will be available shortly and I'll talk to you soon